Hey, this is Charles from Atlanta Law. Can I get your first and last name? Are you reporting an accident? Yeah, hey Charles, this is John Smith. Um, yeah, I just got into an accident, hey, unfortunately. John. Sorry to hear that, John. Can you tell me where the accident happened? Was it on a specific street or intersection? Yeah, it was on the, the exit ramp on I-85 South, right by North Avenue, by, uh, by Tech, unfortunately, so. Right. Okay, John, and what kind of car were you driving? Can you tell me the make and model? Uh, yeah, it's a, it was a, a Jeep Wrangler. Hey everyone, Charles here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the new AI phone calling agents that I've added to Roho. So it's super easy to set up and it pretty much uses the exact same bot um, that you guys have already created. So as far as creating and prompting the bots, nothing really changes at all, guys. The only thing that you can do is, you know, buy a phone number to attach the bot to now. So you'll see here, I have two phone numbers here. We can obviously buy a phone number. And right now I just have it as toll free numbers, um, you know, so just toll free numbers for now, but you can obviously purchase and then provision those, right? So anyway, so let's go into this phone number, right? Configure it. So there's only really two options here. One for the voice you want to use and then the bot. So it's that simple guys. All you have to do is select the bot. Um, and this is really for inbound. Um, so for outbound, you can obviously have different bots on it, but to set the uh, default bot for, for uh, inbound, you'll just do it here. Um, so this is basically a webhook that will send some information after the call is completed, right? So you'll see all this good stuff that we have, including a call summary, right? So you just put that webhook in there. And then one other thing to uh, mention, guys, is that the extract data and all of this good stuff is still going to work on the phone call. So even if they're not a contact yet, right? And you get an inbound phone call, it'll still catch all this stuff. So pretty cool. And for this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys, you know, some automations that I made for a, a law office, right? A plaintiff's attorney. So this is going to basically be an AI phone agent for inbound, um, you know, new client intake, basically people who are uh, reporting car accidents. So what this um, you know, automation is going to do, it's, it's going to answer 24 seven, right? Whenever someone calls, it's going to ask them questions about their accident. And then it's going to save that to the CRM and go on to some uh, more automations, right? So now I'll show you guys actually how to set up the inbound phone caller. So some of you guys may be wondering like, Oh, you know, I don't want to have to buy another number. Uh, can I use my GHL number? Well, thankfully there is a way that we can use your GHL number for inbound, not for outbound, right? But for inbound, we can use our um, GHL number by basically using GHL's IVR system. All right. So if you guys haven't, you know, tried out the IVR workflow steps and triggers on GHL, you definitely should. They're pretty awesome. What it is, is basically those, uh, those automated answering machines that, right? That's like press one for this, press two for this, but, um, we can actually connect a call right to our custom phone number that we have the AI attached to. So basically all we're going to do is forward the inbound calls from our GHL number to our AI number. And this is obviously optional, right? But you can have different branches. So for this one, I think I have it say like, um, Hey, this is Charles from Atlanta law. Thank you for calling. Please listen carefully to the following. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but basically in, um, in AI, voice message that I generated, right? Uh, instructing them to choose a selection. So if they press three, if they're reporting an accident, remember this is our AI phone number and it's gonna call that phone number, um, right? And then moving on, we have the uh, call completed webhook, which I'll get into later, but basically after the call is completed, right? It's gonna wait, it's gonna send an internal notification with all of the info that it gathered, right? Here's the name, car, make, car model. It's going to put them on, on the correct stage in the pipeline. So accident reported, and then it's going to send them a link for the next steps. But I'm going to go ahead and um, test this out and show you guys just how awesome this is. So. Hey, this is Charles. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Thank you for calling. Please listen carefully to the following options. For existing clients, please press one. For new client inquiries, please press two. To report an accident, please press 
Hey, this is Charles from Atlanta Law. Thank you for calling. Okay, so I press three. Hey, this is Charles from Atlanta Law. Can I get your first and last name? Are you reporting an accident? Yeah, hey Charles, this is John Smith. Um, yeah, I just got into an accident, hey, unfortunately. John. Sorry to hear that, John. Can you tell me where the accident happened? Was it on a specific street or intersection? Yeah, it was on the, the exit ramp on I-85 South, right by North Avenue, by, uh, by Tech, unfortunately. So. Right. Okay, John. And what kind of car were you driving? Can you tell me the make and model? Uh, yeah, it's a, it was a, a Jeep Wrangler. All right, John. Did you suffer any injuries, or are you experiencing any pain from the accident? Yeah, my neck has, you know, really been hurting my back also. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, John. Can you describe to me what happened in the accident? What led up to it and how it occurred? Yeah, I mean, I was basically just getting off the highway and slowing down, and some guy just ran right into the back of my car. So. Okay, John, I want you to take some pictures of the damage to your vehicle accident scene, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to send you a link after the. Great, John. I'm going to send you a link after this call with instructions on what to do next. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, John. Thank you for reaching out to Atlanta Law. We'll be in touch soon. Have a good evening. Thank you. All right, guys. So as you can see, that was actually my voice on the call as well. Um, so you can clone your voice, put it onto the uh, AI phone caller. But, you know, that's super, super valuable for any business. Answering calls 24-7, um, you know, and also saving that information and triggering automations based off of their responses in the call. So now let's go and see um, what happened in the, the call completed webhook. So, all right guys, so as you can see, I've been added here and I do have a um, two minute, excuse me, I have a two minute wait step here just so we can let our, uh, you know, update variables prompt run and uh, update all those custom fields. So we'll give it, a, we'll give it a minute or two and then I'll come back. So um, I'm back after that two minute wait step, right? But as you can see here, I just um, updated the leads name and we sent this internal notification, right? So you can have it go to all your users or a custom number with all this good data that has all actually been saved in the CRM, right? So we have their make, model, any injuries they had, a report about it, and then you know a recording of the call. Um, so if we go over here, Guys, you'll notice now we have a uh, new lead in our pipeline, right? So we're gonna organize this in a pipeline, accident reported, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this form out here. Okay, so accident report form, John Smith. So guys, now you can see I've been moved to the next step in the pipeline, right? And now our third automation in this sequence has been triggered. Um, so after they submit the you know secondary information form, we're going to update that opportunity. We're going to send another internal notification saying, "Hey, this person you know just uploaded some images of their accident." And now we're going to start um, an AI bot to actually book them. So guys, we're kind of using everything here, right? We have the inbound AI caller, and then now we're going to start our bot over SMS that's just going to book them. Basically, all the spot's doing is booking them, guys. So it says, hey, John. Here, let me show you. Right? So we're really making sure that this lead turns into a client. Okay, so I'm just going to have a conversation with it here. All right. Do today. So as you guys can see, I sent it uh, three messages in a row. A really cool feature that I've added recently to Roho, and I'm sure you guys have seen this already, is now it's a randomized message queue. So that makes it even more human-like, right? So now I'm going to go to our bot for after they submit the form, right? So you can randomize your message queue anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Um, you know, Or 15 to 600 seconds anyway, but yeah. So it says, I appreciate your eagerness. Unfortunately, we don't have any openings for today. How about a call tomorrow, right? So obviously it's smart enough 
to not book them um, if we don't have it available. I'm going to say anything later. Well, that's generating in the message queue. Uh, one thing that I want to highlight, a lot of you guys have been asking for this, is we now have a time window where you can set the active hours for your follow-ups. Since I am using GHL's Marketplace app features, right, the webhooks on the back end to send the messages, you guys really can't, you know, before you weren't able to actually, um, you know, control the time when the messages were sent out. Um, so now this is going to give you guys the ability to, to do that. So just wanted to highlight that. Okay, so it gave me some later times, as you can see. Say 3.30 works. All right, and now y'all can see it's gonna confirm after I said the time, right? Just to confirm Thursday at 3.30 EST works for you. Some of you guys have been asking, you know, can we turn this off? Um, can we change this? How can we change the booking process? And guys, unfortunately, we're not, you know, gonna change it right now. So that's hard coded into the prompt. And the reason is we have to be very um, specific in the times for the AI to, to know exactly what time we're booking for. So, you know, we're gonna keep this. Unfortunately, you guys, you know, we're not gonna, you can't really change this part about it, right? Um, but it's going to make sure that it's booking for the correct time. And honestly, guys, right, like we'd, we'd rather not have, uh, you know, someone that just books randomly and doesn't confirm it. We don't want to waste anyone's time, right? So we want to make sure that this lead is actually going to show up. Okay. All right. And as you guys can see, we just got booked in for, for 3.30, right? And then now we got moved into the pipeline stage as a booked call. And there goes our call uh, confirmation, right? So if we go back to our automations here, this little four step sequence that I made for a potential client, right? So we've finished the uh, AI booking bot and now we've actually booked a call. So now we're gonna just be placed into this workflow, sending reminders. Um, so as you guys can see the AI caller really adds like a whole level of automation that wasn't really even possible before. So this is going to save so much time. And as you guys heard, right, it's very, very high quality conversations. It's very smart, but I'm excited to launch this. Um, we're going to be launching it slowly, right? So if you guys want us to set this up for you, right, we're going to be setting it up for a handful of people. Um, just, you know, click the link below and I'll put it in the description. Um, but just reach out to us if you want us to set this up for you, right? Um, for right now, we are, you know, just only setting it up for a few people. But again, um, if you'd like to try this out, please just uh, reach out to us below. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video.